Welcome to the RPG Maker MV perfectly looping background music tutorial. So we're going to make write some music that perfectly loops in this software. Uh, so first thing we'll have to do is obviously we're going to have to write the music. And I use I personally use Logic Pro um, because I prefer it, but you can use any software as long as you can get time from it. So I have this currently looped because that's how I work in it, but I have a song here. It's all done in MIDI. And those familiar with the software, this is I've taken this and I put a loop here. And the reason I did that is because there's plenty of reverb and other things that happen after the fact. If we were just to loop it with like the MIDI was looped, then um, it would not uh, capture that reverb tail and it would sound very jarring in, in the game. So first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to bounce this down. And we're just going to, how about we just call this the room song. And I've did this before just to make sure it works. So, yes, we're going to replace it. So once that's finished, we'll open up Audacity. Boom. Audacity is free, so, and even though I do recommend writing music on other softwares. This is has its own merits, so I'll just read it. I don't, I don't care right now. So, we're going to be working in this. So, I'm working in seconds, minutes, seconds, and milliseconds. So we'll switch to that. We're going to switch this from length to end, and uh, pay attention to that because that'll, that's everything. So we're going to go from, we're going to come back two measures in, so at measure three. So I'm going to have four seconds and 186. Four, 186. Perfect. And then at the very end, actually, I'm going to do this a little different. I'm going to do it one beat before. So 03488. And then I'm going to do the same thing, the same spot in the loop. So this is 36, 9, 7, 7. Nope, you're messing me up. 0, 0. And thankfully, if you do get lost, you don't have to click. You can just browse through that with the with the uh, left and right of the keyboard. Now we're going to switch this to length. And we're going to hit one of these, and we're going to switch it to samples. So you can, if you hold shift and hit play, you can listen through it and hear it loop, but I'm not going to do it for the sake of time. We're going to export it and I already have it set. We're going to set it to Aug Orbits and then we're going to save it as the room song. So yes, we're going to replace this because in your case, you haven't actually made it yet. So we're going to put in some metadata. So this one is loop. Need this in all cap. Loop start. The next one will be loop length. I'm going to type in the samples. Don't worry about the zeros. Don't worry about the commas or periods or whatever you use in your country. It just wants the number. So 153821 for this song. And the length is 1476865. So this is perfect. And I usually have my stuff, comp uh, my compression. Um, earlier it says options, you can change the compression of the AUG orbits too. So, this, that just, exp um, that just ex exported as an AUG orbits, and it told it that this is the amount of samples that we're going to have to work with. So that's done. Let's open up RPG Maker, and we're going to open up this guy. So this is where we're going to start. And we'll autoplay the background music. We're going to pick the room song. So sake of time I won't play it here but you should hear it play perfectly and uh, rip headphone users right now their sounds are very loud hi person I can't talk to so so far so good this is the easy part
Okay. And it did loop perfectly. So, it's much better. There's still little glitches. If you have good ears, you would have noticed there was a little click. So, you just kind of have to work around that sometimes. But uh, thank you for joining us. And uh, good luck in your music endeavors.